In terms of unique names, also, I just just want to. I, I I just I really really had to have to mention the most unique name, the of an arrowboat. That, that it just kind of stuck in my uh, stuck in my brain and has never got yes. gone away. Yeah, when we you know were, when we were on holiday. Yeah, we, we just day. we went past an arrowboat, and it was called Lord Byron's Maggot. And in terms of unique names, I can't really think of many that would actually go more than than Lord Byron's Maggot because I mean, or yeah, it's going to stick in your brain, but like a maggot. Oh. But also, why would you call? A boat, Lord Byron's maggot. I, 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 I don't know why. I, I, I'd be interested yeah. to know why. And it's something I've pondered on and off. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and we yeah. mentioned it to a friend. Yes. Um, who, who actually googled it, and, um, and. Uh, and it's a dance. It's a like 18th century era dance, kind of the kind of thing they they did in Pride and Prejudice a lot. Basically, those sort of. And, and, and again, I'm like, why would you name a dance yeah. that? Yeah, we haven't investigated it far enough to find out why you would name a yeah. dance Lord I Byron's don't know. maggot. Why, what, did Lord Byron do something dancey with a maggot or something? I don't know. He was, he was a bit crazy, but who, who can tell? Anyway, I feel like we might be getting slightly off the point there.